Um, this next couple of songs were written for a record that I made with the Del McCurry band some years back called The Mountain. When I uh, started that record, my intention was to make, I wanted to write a whole record of new bluegrass songs and play them with the best bluegrass band in the world. But you have to, uh, which we certainly accomplished that, but uh, you have to write songs about something. And what I ended up writing about on almost that whole record was the part of the country that that music came from and that all the music I play just about comes from, at least on this side of the pond. It really comes from the other side where an entire culture and an entire industry was transplanted intact along with the seeds of the American labor movement because that was born in the coal country in the Appalachian Mountains. Now, our labor movement has taken a pounding and uh, you know, I grew up here in Texas in a so-called right-to-work state. Um, some unions have been strong at times in certain industries here. Um, we're going through a period where unions in this country aren't strong anywhere. Um, but trust me, folks, it's a fundamental component of democracy, and it's one of the things missing from the puzzle that keeps getting us in trouble. Um, this person speaking to you in this song Grew up in this part of the country. He does a hard job. It's dangerous, but he's proud of what he does. And he goes to work every day. And he also loves the place that he comes from. But the people that he's working for, when their history shows that when they're done with him and done with the land, they move on. And uh, in the first, uh, first song, it's the same person in both songs speaking to you. In the first one, he's young and he's got a tough way to go, but he's full of fight and he's proud of what he does. In the second one, he's older and wiser, and he's figured out he's probably gotten fucked. And this is, uh, the first one's called Harlem Man. Yeah. 